This is the modular test vehicle project from nxtprograms.com and it allows you to experiment with different robot configurations to see what kind of drive configuration you like the best. And it consists of five modules you can build independently, a frame, a set of two drive wheels with gears, a caster wheel, pivoting caster wheel, two rolling plain front wheels or back wheels, and you can use those with or without tires and a little payload basket you can use to carry things like you can carry two NXT balls or something heavier like a motor or a soda can or something heavy like that. The parts are designed with pegs already in place and holes already in place to make it very easy to snap them together to make a robot. So for example I could pick, take the drive wheels snap them on like that. I could choose to use the caster wheel and I could take those and snap, snap that on right like that. Then I have an example robot that has Drive, two drive wheels and a caster wheel, or I could decide, well, I'm going to try it with the straight wheels instead, and I could put those on instead and see how that compares to the caster wheel, see if that robot performs. As an example of one of the things you might want to experiment with is how the position of the drive wheels on the frame and how the front wheel or back wheel assembly affects its ability to turn and also carry heavy loads. So, for example, we might try comparing putting the drive wheels all the way in the back like this. So I might snap those all the way on the back and I might try putting a set of front wheels all the way up in the very front and putting my payload basket right here. And I could put a load in there and now I could test that robot, program it to do some simple turns and see how easy it is to maneuver and get where I want to go with that load. Now, this has the drive wheels all the way in the back, rolling wheels all the way in the front, and the load up in front. You might get a completely different result if I simply snap this apart and tried, let's try, maybe I turn these wheels around and this puts the back wheels almost directly under the NXT, and that gives me a different result entirely. Or I may say maybe those are too far under the NXT because actually my robot's tipping back now. Well, I can try just pulling them back and just moving them back a little bit. So now they're mostly under the NXT, but still in the back. And heck, maybe front wheel drive is even better. So let's pull this whole thing apart and try front wheel drive. Maybe I want to try, let's try the wheels mostly in the front of my robot like this. So my payload is going to be up in front here. So I have front wheel drive and then maybe in the back, I'll be dragging a little caster wheel behind me, like that. So maybe that's better when carrying a heavy load. That's an easy experiment you could run and give a try and see which one is more accurate. Once you've snapped together the modules, one final step to complete it is just to hook up two wires from ports B and C down to the two drive motors. Then you're ready to download a program and try a little test. So this program will just do a quick straight turn straight. Another thing that's easy to change with this project is you can change the gears used by the drive motors to make it either slower or faster. And the website shows details on how to do that. We can try it right here. Right now this is in sort of the slow configuration. I'll just pop the wheels off which take these gears off. Then I reach inside and pull out the smaller gears. Now I'll swap this so the larger gears are down on the bottom instead of the top. So I'll put those two gears on first. And then I replace the wheels, this time with the smaller gears on the wheels instead of the motors. And now if I run the same program, I'll find that the robot should be quite a bit faster than before. So let's give it a try. Definitely a lot faster. And so you can experiment with how the speed affects the accuracy and also just the overall performance of your robot.